Hi, my name is Ben. Welcome to my home. This house is a four-room HDB in Faja. It's 902 square feet and I've been staying here for nine months. The style of my home is inspired by the mid-century modern era as well as some Danish designs and it's got a very eclectic vibe with a lot of colours but what I use to tie everything in is actually the use of greys such as the window grills of my house and the blinds and then we have some chrome finishing as well in terms of the lamps and the lights that grey and the metal textures would blend everything nicely together. My furniture is kept very very modular and that's intentional because I like to switch up the layout here and there from time to time. My main gate is a fabricated steel door. It's half made of a glass panel and half is an opaque steel bottom. This is inspired by a lot of vintage office buildings back in the day in factories and warehouses. Really really love it because it allows a lot of light into the home, so that's my favourite. Moving on over here, this is kind of like my bicycle hobbies garage, so I'm an avid road cyclist, so therefore I park my bike over here. I can do simple maintenance over here, I've got my palm, my gears, my cycling shoes and my helmets all over here, and as well as skateboards that I used to skate on way back in the day, so this is a throwback to the good old days. I keep them just for memory's sake. This is one of my favourite pieces actually from Ikea. It's actually I think their Plaza range. So this allows you to fully customise how high you want it to be, how many drawers you want, down to the finishes of handles. So I love the stainless steel texture and that's why I kept it there. And this blue is a very special shade of blue. It reminds me of the Majorel blue which is very famously made popular by the French designer YSL. It's got a house in Marrakesh which is purely Majorel blue so that's really really beautiful. These window grills are my favourite feature of my home. So these were custom fabricated for the dimensions of my windows and they were inspired by the pre-war flats in Tiong Bahru, which come in different shapes and sizes. I opted for the ovals and I had them painted in a really really nice shade of grey which I really love. Over to this section is my stainless steel shelf which is fully customizable and adjustable which houses my display items, my plants and a few household necessities. And because I'm a photographer as well, so this is one of my first few commission projects and I really really love this as well. This is my living room and dining area at the same time. It's meant to be one cohesive space where a lot of people can gather and have conversations. So I have friends and family over quite often. So when some of us are having our meals here, those who are done can be chilling on the couch, watching TV. We have conversations going on without having any sense of segregation. So that's what I love about a whole cohesive space. Moving on to this section, this is my prized possession here. It's actually an aluminium bike frame. I've ridden a lot of kilometers on it, so I really, really love it. And these are my cubby holes where I house a lot of my photography gear, miscellaneous stuff, household necessities, and house cleaning items. I tend to love to collect art as well, especially artwork from friends. So I have one childhood painting here done by Loki, so shout out to Loki. So she kindly gave me this piece as a housewarming gift. And it actually signifies abundance and family. It's a traditional Chinese painting, so I really love it and I think it's suitable for such a space like this. Welcome to my kitchen. This is my coffee bar right here. I used to be a barista about more than 10 years ago, so I wanted a really, really good coffee machine. This is where I brew my morning poison, so if I don't have my coffee in the mornings, I cannot function at all. Unfortunately for you folks who love cappuccino and flat whites, I only do black coffee. I wanted a statement piece for my coffee bar, so I got a fat boy light tube over here. It's dimmable and I can change the colour temperature, so it gives this whole space some character. 
My kitchen is inspired by a commercial grade kitchen, so I had a stainless steel countertop. So something that's very hard wearing because I do cook quite often for breakfast and lunch. So I needed something that will last very long. And over here, actually a lot of small white tiles, they are basically lined by blue grout. And this reminds me of the jotter book that we used to use in primary school. And above over here is a birch ply veneer. And I love how the look goes well together because it's warm with the terracotta tiles and then there's the stainless steel countertop and then you have wood textures here with the birch ply veneer. The stainless steel textures carry over to my washing and drying area here and is complemented very beautifully with this concrete wall which pays tribute to brutalism. This is raw concrete hollow blocks and it acts as a very nice division or divider to the common toilet and wash area. To keep to the industrial look of the kitchen, we decided to paint all the walls and the ceiling in cement screed as well. And the grey themes, you know, they transfer over to the blinds right here. So these are metal blinds, C-shaped blinds, which they allow me to control the amount of light that I let in. So it can be brighter, as bright as I want it to be, and I can also adjust the mood of this whole space by controlling the amount of light that I let in. The common bathroom, I had half of the tiles and the jotter book inspiration borrowed from the kitchen backsplash. And this is mainly for guests, and also where I wash my bike periodically. Welcome to my studio. So these are steel doors as well with wire glass fitted into them. So this was a suggestion by my designer. So he has really good taste. Moving into this space is actually combined with two rooms that were previously there. And we knocked down this wall that was separating the two rooms. Now it's one common cohesive space. So we as photographers and filmmakers, we love to be organized. So I have steel shelves here that would house my equipment. So my traveling gear, my pelican cases that hold my lights and cameras. And on this area right here is an open space so I can set up my photography backdrop. If I need to take portraits of people, I need to take product photos or videos, I can do that. And from time to time, I will exercise. So I have my weights here. I can put my bike on a trainer, I can cycle indoors. So this space is really, really versatile. I love to tinker around with new bits and pieces. So this is where I test new gear, build out new rigs, try different parts and equipment together. And above this space, you can see this really, really beautiful piece. It's a commission piece of thread art. So it's by my friend Anna, so shout out to Anna. It's basically a very nice tapestry of geometric patterns and batik designs. So that was the inspiration. So if you look really, really closely, you can see like the thread going in and out in different patterns and shapes. So really, really nice piece over there. Over to this side is where I have, you know, more camera gear, batteries, equipment, USB charging cables. And this is the pride and joy of my work, which is my workstation where I do my editing. I can spend hours here. I can hold up in this space for hours and hours on end. To balance that, I need like a lounge area. So this is my favorite piece from Ikea. It's a green chair. Funnily enough, it resembles a green screen, so I guess you could probably chroma or edit and project some other pattern on it if you will. But this allows me to have a space to have some downtime, decompress, scroll social media if you will, and also just to relax and maybe sometimes I get some inspiration on certain projects as well. So after spending hours of editing, I just want to go to the master and rest. So this door, instead of being a plain white door, my designer suggested to have a cutout with wired frosted glass in it. So this allows some nice soft light to diffuse through. So I kept the look very clean and minimalist in terms of colors, very muted colors and white walls all around. And this basically is uh, every photographer and filmmaker's uniform, all black. My favorite feature are these ceramic lamps right here. So they have a frosted glass enclosure, so it gives a very nice soft glow to the whole space as well. So these doors are wire glass with frosted glass as well. 
in keeping with the whole theme throughout the house. And when you step inside, we wanted to keep it a bit warm. So the top half are all terracotta tiles for that nice warm burgundy hue. And stepping into the shower screen, you can see we committed to the whole Jotterbook theme, but instead we used black grout lines for this. I wanted my home to achieve multiple things. I wanted it to be a source of inspiration for my work. I wanted to have the space to host my family and friends, but most importantly, be a home that suits my hectic lifestyle and career. I hope to conduct more shoots at home in the future and explore more angles that I haven't discovered in my home.